All right, man, let's get into it. You know, they asked, you know, you put a survey up. Is Jared Goff a Detroit Lions quarterback of the future? Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon. But now this survey was taken previous to the New England Patriot game, but Goff is what Goff is, right? And I intentionally waited to do this video till after the New England Patriot game. Good, bad, win, loss, draw, whatever it may be. And they lost 29 to zip. All right, we know Bill Belichick got a. Uh, we know Bill Belichick got a uh, Jared Goff number, so it really wasn't. Uh, it really wasn't a, a, the biggest surprise of all, of all time. You know, he just tend to got his number. We know Bill Belichick is is a great mastermind. Uh, he put a great game plan together, which they almost would have uh, beat Green Bay the previous week. And then we ain't won in Foxborough since, you know, 1992 or 93. When he played them, I think, including this game, eight times in history. So you thought they would have played a lot more than eight times. But um, but nonetheless, survey as Jerry Goff, uh, Lions quarterback of the future. It says Jerry Goff is putting up some impressive offense and stats to start 2022, but is he the right quarterback to lead Detroit future? It says, welcome to SB Nation React. Survey fans across the NFL throughout uh, the year. We ask questions of the most plugged in Detroit Lions fans, fans across the country. Sign up to participate. Go to uh, ProudDetroit.com. This week, we have uh, two questions in our React poll. Our weekly, are you confident the Lions are heading in the right direction? And another reoccurring question that we will ask after week 4, 8, 12, and 16 is Jared Goff, the future. Derek Goff, the Lions quarterback of the future. In our confidence poll, we've seen the results shift from 95 to 99%, then drop to 88% after the Minnesota loss, uh, Viking loss. Are they headed for another fall as a bad loss to Seattle, or are they remaining 88% holding patient and waiting uh, how things play out? Our second question is short sparks in debate. Is golf playing at a very high level? Golf is playing at a very high level, and he has led the Lions to produce some more points, 140 uh, than any other team in the NFL throughout the first four weeks, though there are limitations to his game. Let's look at some golf, some of Goff's 2022 stats that place in the top 10 throughout four weeks. He said 11 touchdown passes led the NFL tied with Lamar Jackson and Patrick Mahomes. Uh, his 81 passes to TJ Hawkinson uh, in week four is the longest pass in NFL. Uh, 1, uh, 126 passing yards started most in the NFL. Seven and a half pass per uh, pass attempt, a little for 10th, eight, uh, just a yard pa uh, per pass attempt, six, 12.2 per completion is eighth, 1.1 air yards to stick. How far he is throwing the pass, the first down marker is third, 99.9% um, .9 quarterback ranking, currently seventh, QBR is 67.1, which is eighth overall. 3.2% sack rate. How often he was sacked for a pass set, ranked set, second. Additionally, this is before the Patriot game. Additionally, golf is still just 28 years old or will be in just over a week and uh, is under contract through 2024 on a fairly team friendly deal. His contract cap hits of 30 million over the next two seasons, which only includes 10 million guaranteed money. That puts him outside the top 10 highest paid quarterbacks in the league in 2023. While there's lots of positive hype surrounding golf right now, he also has some limitations. We could give the team Paul to consider him as a long-term option at uh, this at the position. One of the glaring concerns consistently over a long period of time. Yes, golf has been rolling these four weeks, and realistically, his last four games 2021. But uh, there's two and a half years of history of struggle that precedes his current success. Can he maintain a level of play? Can he elevate the game even higher? Also, potentially working against golf is that there is also appeal of handpicking a rookie quarterback and that teams have on the contract a very low cost uh, comparatively for the next five seasons. Uh, these points are plenty of blah, blah, blah. So they closed the poll, right? So I don't know what the results was. I thought they had the results, but um, to see if they got one of the results. Uh, here we go. I know I've seen a difference. So, yep. So, majority it's before the uh, Patriot game. Majority of Detroit Lions fans believe Jared Goff is the team's quarterback of the future. We polled POD, Pride Detroit Breeders, in our last SB Nation React survey, and the results are in. Okay. Um, 
It said those survey results, and they are now in, and 70% of Lions fans believe he is. So that's, to me, that's a high percentage. You know, 86% of Lions fans are confident the team are headed in the right direction. So 86, 70% of fans think Jared Goff is a quarterback for the future quarterback of the future for the Detroit Lions. And like I said, just let you know how thirsty the fans are for a winner. Um, and like I said, this is post, this is pre-Patriots. All right, I say it again, this is pre-Patriots. So let's let you know how thirsty a lot, you know, they are for, for a winner. You know, um, so you know it don't shock me none, dude. I I wasn't confident. I can't even say if I was confident if they was headed in the right direction. To be honest, quite frankly, man, um, I guess I would say yeah. Even after the Patriots game, because I kind of see what Brad Holmes, what he really, what his angle really is, and what he really trying to do, and all that type of stuff. How he trying to build it, but I really don't have no confidence in him finding the quarterback of the future. You know, so me, I mean, obviously, dude, he wasn't. You know, he ain't. It was no reason for him to get traded. He playing well, minus the Patriot game. Come on. Come on. He not. You need to go get a real quarterback. Somebody that's mobile, too. But do you trust the Lions to go do that? Absolutely, absolutely do not. But just let you know, man, 70% is super-duper high. You know? And let us hit that approval right after the Patriot game. I bet it come down. You know? When team player team start to make the adjustment, you know, we'll see. They gonna catch on into what into what Ben Johnson doing. It's gonna be interesting to see if uh, if Ben Johnson can make the adjustment. So, I mean. You know, but it is what it is. It is what it is. But I don't I don't believe he is, man. Honestly. I mean, I think it's common sense. Um I think it's common sense. He not. That's just what it is. I mean, it ain't no rocket science to it. It ain't no carry the one, shoo dee doo doo da blah blah none of that. He ain't. You know, now is the quarterback of the future out there? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I will say. I don't know, man. I'm not a Stride fan. And then, you know, Bryce Young too little. And, you know, people talking about paying Lamar and all that. Maybe Lamar, I don't know. To me, I don't, I don't know if you can trust Brad Holmes. And then you take Brad Holmes and then you say, well, you know, go get another injury-prone small quarterback in Bryce Young. And obviously, C.J. Straw fit the bill as far as stature, but I don't I don't trust the skill. People talking about, oh, he's putting up numbers. He be playing good against bums. But anytime it's like winning time versus somebody that's, that's real, all that go away. You know, but it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. You know, but uh, uh, nonetheless, do let me know what you girls and guys think about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel, cash out dollar sign CJ Good 313, Limo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. 
Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Check out Detroit Lions Talk Plus for more videos like this. Peace.